Hey guys, this is Sam Gerdauer from Coastal Carpentry here in beautiful sunny southwest Florida. Today I'm going to show you how you're able to fabricate and install an entire frame, uh, extension jam, casing, and sill all in one shot using a very, very simple method that can save you time and ultimately result in better quality as well. Uh, for the sake of time for this video, we're going to assume that you've already measured and cut your extension jams and your sill and we'll take off from that point. So now that we have our sill cut and assembled, we have our marks for our extension jam where it goes and attaches on our sill. And we also have marks on the legs of our extension jam for where the head goes in between. We can get out our table and start assembling everything. I normally like to shoot 18 gauge brads up through the bottom and then put a couple of trim screws really to make sure that it holds nice and tight. So we'll pop this all together. So now that we have our sill and our extension jam fabricated and attached together, we now can install our casing. Now for this particular application, we're using a craftsman style molding, meaning that everything is cut on a square cut. So we're only gonna have two legs to install onto this extension jam. We'll grab our reveal gauge, quarter inch reveal, and we'll mark a quarter inch all the way around our frame. Okay, now that we have our quarter inch reveal marked out, we now simply take our tape measure, we bump to the sill, and we pull our number, 58 and 3 sixteenths. So now that we have our legs cut, we simply attach them as we would any other casing. If you want to get crazy, you could put a screw down there as well. So now here's where things start getting really interesting for us. So now you might be asking yourselves, now that we have an entirely built frame, how are we going to attach this thing? We could just simply attach it right through the casing, through the 1x4 into the framing below this, but that's also going to give us a little bit of a wiggle point where it connects to the flange of the window here. So how do we attach it there? Grab yourself some Simple deck screws, whatever you like to use. I like using the GRK uh, R4 multi-purpose screws, two and a half inch. And grab yourself a scrap of whatever material you use for the extension jam. Now remember, we marked our quarter inch reveal all the way around the window. So now we use screws, almost as shims, to make sure that we can hold our extension jam tight to the frame. So let me show you what I mean. We'll simply take, I like using a drill because it has a little bit more control. We put our screw in roughly where we imagine the extension jam would be. And we see that it's a little bit off of our extension jam here, off of our reveal, I mean. So we unscrew until we get it. Perfect. That's just where we want to be. Can we zoom in on that a little bit here? Good. So now we see our reveal mark here. Now that we're a little bit closer. We'll set our screw to where we roughly believe it. Take a good guess and pop that in. Hey, look at that. Blind squirrel's right, right twice a day. No, broken clock's right twice a day. Blind squirrel finds nuts. That's how it works. That's why I do carpentry. I don't do poems. So keep backing it out. And that's perfect right there. So now what we'll do is do that every 12 inches or so. And then we'll click this thing into place and you'll see how it finishes. So now we have our entire casing frame built, extension jam, sill, and our two legs of casing. Now the moment of truth, does it fit? Let's find out. Beforehand, if you remember, we put our screws in. We now have our screws set every 12 inches, and that should allow us to snug this in nice and tight without any fear of movement. So let's give it a shot. All right, our bottom's in, looking good. Top, oh yeah. Like socks on a rooster, baby. Like socks on a rooster. Now we get to do our gymnastics for the day. And we will put in, I got 15 gauge nails, two and a half inch to make sure that we get into the framing. We're not worried about it pushing it at all because we got the screw there. Now if this was a wood jam, 
We might put some glue behind the extension jam here, but this is a vinyl window, so the glue's not really gonna do anything. So we push it nice and tight, we nail it, and that bead of caulk is really gonna hold everything in place. And our frame is in. And now all we have to do is put on the finishing touches. Okay. And that's it. That is how we pre-build a very solid, very uh, efficient system of putting casings together. I hope you enjoyed this video.